Hello everyone. Welcome back to Wild Photography. I'm sure you enjoyed the last two videos on how to start wildlife photography and how to earn from wildlife photography. Um, now we are getting started with the basics of wildlife photography and I am all excited uh, to handhold you throughout this wildlife photography journey. So this series of videos, three pillars of wildlife photography. There will be five videos part of this series and the first one being the introduction which is what I am going to uh, explain you now. So let's get it started. So the prerequisite learning before you see this video is how to start wildlife photography. If you have not seen this video, I highly recommend you go through that video before you uh, start watching this video so that you will get the continuity of the topic. And if you want a link to that video, I have just given it down in the description of this video itself. So please watch that and then you can come back and continue watching this video. So the three pillars of wildlife photography or uh, the ISO, aperture and shutter speed. So there is a chance you may know this already and sometimes you may be using it already as well. But it is still worthwhile uh, to go through this video and specifically the next slide I am going to explain about some of the uh, common issues faced in wildlife photography and if you can relate to some of those issues I would highly recommend that you watch this series and I'm sure you will get some learning from this video series. ISO equals to sensitivity, aperture equals to depth and shutter speed equals to freeze. Uh, I'll be explaining about this in detail on those individual videos of what is ISO, what is aperture and what is uh, shutter speed. So let's move ahead. Why these three pillars are crucial? So before I answer this, just let's hear some of the issues faced in wildlife photography. My photos are not creative. My photos are not sharp. My photos are blurred. My photos are noisy and grainy. My photos are dark. My photos are washed out. My photos are not looking good. My photos does not look lively. My photos are boring. My photos lack that wow factor. Are you facing any one or multiple of these issues? Because of these issues, have you gone ahead and upgraded your camera, but still you are facing these issues? Then there is a very high probability that your understanding of ISO aperture, the shutter speed has to be revisited. So this video series is going to help you uh, do that. Now this also put across one more question, how to take that perfect shot? I am going to answer just that. So the only way to take a perfect shot is not by having a very expensive camera or upgrading your camera and lens every now and then, but it is the right combination of aperture, shutter speed and ISO and a perfect focusing technique and exposure would result in a perfect shot. I'll give you one small uh, example. Two of my good friends in my uh, network, both of them went to a, a, a jungle reserve in India. Both of them saw a same moment and both of them clicked the same moment at the same second. Both of them submitted the images to a global competition. One of them backed the silver medal in that and one of them didn't even qualify to the uh, final. It is the same moment but the difference is the settings used by both of them are completely different. One elevated the moment to a next level itself, the other one unfortunately didn't. Uh, I am not talking uh, bad about him but I am uh, trying to explain you why this combination is important to ensure you are taking that perfect shot which you are happy about. So to summarize what we have seen in this video is the introduction to the three pillars of wildlife photography and as I said there are four more videos in this series namely what is aperture, what is shutter speed, what is ISO and how to control aperture, shutter speed and ISO which is super critical as well. So thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If you have uh, any questions related to this uh, content, please feel free to uh, leave me a note at the comment section and I would be uh, glad to answer them back to you. And the rest of the four videos part of this three pillars of wildlife photography series would be uploaded in the coming days as well. I'll see you soon.